Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in once again and I want to unlock a tainted character this time around. Who do I want to unlock? Um, but I did try for Tainted Polly on the other day. Tainted Lilith is good. Tainted Azazel's decent. Although we have done the beast as him, apparently. Okay, maybe, that, maybe that's who we did the beast as first time around. Tainted Eve is interesting. Tainted Blue Babies, whatever. Tainted Judas. Tainted Judas kind of slaps. He's he's pretty powerful. Um, let's let's go and unlock that, and we can go back and play some Tarnished characters soon as well. It's been a little while since I've uh, taken a taken a journey down to the Tarnished characters way, and they are they are pretty fun. I want to play as uh, Tarnished Greed again and try and figure him out a little bit more. I feel like my first run as him was a bit odd because I had that whole Red Room cycle thingy. If you haven't seen that episode? It was pretty wacky. Essentially, um, I had a situation in which I could get infinite Red Rooms. And I managed to clear an entire floor, as in, like, every red room included. It was pretty wacky, so not really your average run. Um, Mini Mush is actually fine. The speed up especially is good, but the size down I appreciate. Um, and the range up is so-so. It's fine. But I, I like a, a teeny tiny baby Judas. That's that's pretty funny. Um, ooh, that is, that is lovely, that. Access to money straight off the bat there. You're going to lob your head at me, aren't you? You tried it. You tried it, but psych, boy. You don't even have a chance. As for the question of the day today, I'm going to do something that I do every now and again um, when I'm uncreative. I'm going to ask you guys for the question of the day to suggest some questions of the day. It's always nice to see. I do also have a Discord channel uh, in my Discord server that is linked in the description below um, to uh, that has a, a section for suggesting questions of the day. So if you ever it's a golden rewards card um plus one golden heart shop price is reduced by one for the current floor for each item purchased i i'm not sure if having two of those will do anything for us but it's a good item nonetheless and it gives us a golden heart so i'm not gonna complain too much about getting that I'll try and take this guy out pretty simply and there you go unfortunately no extra soul heart protection or anything so this guy could just do me in pretty quickly, but um, I'm not going to let that happen. This guy's actually kind of a pushover for uh, health-wise. He, he can still get the jump on me, and I mean that quite literally when he jumps on you, but with the damage that we're putting out there, also, Bar of Soap is so good. Bar of Soap is probably one of my favorite boss items that's added by mods. Um, getting a soul heart every floor is just insanely strong, especially when we get to the ascent. That's going to be like guaranteed quite a lot of HP, um, so that's going to make quite a big difference to our run. I'm going to be pretty excited to see that. Either way, let's grab a key, um, take out you. We do have a secret room to our right there. I'm pretty sure, um, but no bomb to discover it. How sad! How sad! I also love the uh, how how it looks visually when you have. Um, the bar of soap. It does kind of look like a pencil sharpener in the in the sprite, I will say, but I can tell it's soap. It's fine, it's fine. Oh god, that guy didn't die on my tier there. Um Yeah, that's pretty good. 30% extra damage against bosses, I cannot complain. Right. Keep on going. Feeling pretty decent about where we are right now. Yeah, also the fact that Bar of Soap does give you a HP up as well. That was a pretty bad hit by me there, but hey ho. I'd like to get some money so I can test out this rewards card. Because in theory, having two of them should mean that we get um, we get double the amount of reductions. So we get two uh, cent removed from every item every time we purchase something. Which would be kind of crazy. Uh, that, that could be like ludicrously good. Um, oh boy. Lost my soul heart. The devil deal is... Uh, Going down the stinker. Going down the crapper. We'll pop this in here for the insta kills. We can keep our distance against these guys here. This is actually a really good room to use this thing because these black flies, while not a threat, would be annoying otherwise. And these guys become one sh I think one shot less, maybe even two shots less to kill. Which is real nice. Can't even afford to go into our shop anyways, we don't have the key. I also like the little anime glowing eye that we have there uh, because of this. Ooh, this is not a good situation right now. These guys aren't actually that bad, but mixed with other enemies in the room, 
it can kind of be a pretty big distraction. Key drops have an equal chance to become any of the key types. That's actually pretty interesting um, because it means that we're going to get um, what they called keys, um, spicy keys, but it also means charged keys and there's one other type of key from a mod, isn't there, I think? I don't remember. Either way, that's not a bad thing at all. Uh, also, more spicy keys early on, as long as we can get the health to replenish, is actually pretty good too. So don't mind that at all. These headless fellas. Dude, I can't believe I just lost my devil deal chance to that. Are you actually kidding me? If you're wondering what happened there, I basically just goofed and thought I'd killed the guy, and I hadn't. And so I just kind of walked into him. You may be thinking, how do you think he killed him? He's right there on screen. He was, but he was in a position where my microphone very slightly covered him. And I, I miss out. Also, a surf box as well here. Nice. Um, okay. So we're getting a lot of healing and a soul heart every single floor. That's pretty nutty. Yeah. That was a big goof on my behalf there. I don't know what's going on with that room. I'll be honest. How is this guy not dead yet? There you go. You guys have kind of a lot of health. Okay. So yeah, we'll see what sort of keys we end up getting here. I'm pretty sure secret room is right here. It's pretty regular sort of normal run thus far. Nothing crazy going on. Yeah, pretty sure secret room's here. Yeah. Three more bombs. I like that. Was there a Tinder Rock in here? No. Could be second secret room at the back of that wall there, but I'm not gonna... Not gonna say yes to that just yet. Oh, another bomb. Get oh, get these newfangled key drops. No keys. Oh, dude, that really poorly has more health than I thought. Maybe it's one of those situations where when it's balled up, it has uh, more HP. Kind of like the mushroom guys do. I don't know if that's actually the case, but... Maybe felt like that there. Come on. Oh, I'd have a key. See, this is what I'm talking about. No keys. This is worth it. Yeah, it ended up being worth it. And I'm also going to bomb this. And accidentally use it once. Spending some of my precious, precious money on it. The way that those things generate creep is not efficient. <laughs> Someone flies, good boy. What are you doing? Slightly annoying room here. Yeah, bomb-wise, things are looking pretty good, but key-wise, not so much. Not so much. Okay. See, there's some spicy keys. That's good, good. I'll take that. Um, and we get token bag. Familiar that drops one token every... Oh, wait. That's the token back in there, I see. So, Sulfuric Acid is very good. Kind of a weird resprite, i got to say. Not sure if I'm a fan of that resprite. Token bag, I've heard, is very, very good. Let's try and get token bag here, shall we? Damn it. We're going to have to come back for that. But yeah, um, Sulfuric Acid is fantastic. I'm not quite sure why it's given us the continuum visual, where it's like eyes in the back of our head. Is that what it normally looks like? Maybe it is. Makes our bombs purely combat oriented now, which is kind of nice. Holy shit, how did I not save damage there? There you go, I accidentally cracked that open, didn't even mean to. Oh god, this mushroom dude needs to go, thank you. He was causing some real problems in my brain. I couldn't really focus. On that guy, god damn. Right, well, let me get my secret room. Oh shit, there's these uh, towers. One second. Okay, we got these towers, which is interesting. I've never seen those these outside of the item. I guess I'll proc it. Basically, this just generates a red room and sends it sends us to it. And we got the ultra secret room as well. Hell yes. Nice. Wasn't expecting that, but love it. Five percent chance for a tier to do three times x damage, but have all special. Uh, that's actually really good. Um, only a 5% chance, which obviously isn't crazy good. 
Um, but it does scale with luck, which is nice. Oh, fuck me. Oh, this is a really rough room. I, I probably should have... I'm in a situation now where I probably should have popped my book, but I, I waited too long, and now it's not really worth it. Okay, that was pretty good. Dude, so many of these enemies. What the hell? Uh, this is rough. This is really rough. I'm going to stay here and kill these guys. Just so I don't get blown into the, uh, into the walls. Right, I'm hoping I can get some more money because I really want to get that token bag. Uh, basically, tokens are a new consumable, a new thing that you can pick up on the floor. Um, that essentially, they, they act pretty like in a pretty special way. What they do is they make it so that... Um, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, this is scary. And they make it so that they mimic the last thing that you picked up, which is, is pretty cool. I'm going to check this out. I'm going to do this just because... I realise I'm absolutely like destroying my donation machine because I just need more chances at getting that token back because they're really special and they can be used for a few different things. That's pretty interesting. Um, okay. Come here to me. Come on, don't be like this. There you go, we got it, we got it. And the other things, um, the Eternal D10, that certainly looks like the mutant spider to me, but you do you. Uh, <laughs> okay, we got it. So next floor, I'll try and demonstrate exactly how this works. Okay, definitely want to use this in here. Take you out first. Oh yeah, there's three times, three times two damage. Three x, three... 0.2x damage, sorry, multiplier shots are uh, going hard. I like that. Latch key. Okay, keys galore right now. I like that. I will take that as well. That was a charge spicy key as well. Okay. Uh, right. I will leave that alone and take an angel deal if I can. We are trying to go to the beast here, remember? That is a fantastic item. Absolutely love it. How does this thing work? It's just a it's just a one pip charge. Potato battery. Like it. Yeah, um sulfuric acid, real good with the setup. I like this a lot. We also have good range, which makes this even better. Um, I guess we should just quickly secret room check all these walls just in case. Yeah. I didn't think we, we had one, but it's worth checking. I, I think I checked this wall, didn't I? Oh, no, I didn't. Okay, nice. Yeah, Cricket's body with this is, is good for just finding extra stuff. We might as well spend the time to do this. It doesn't really take long, and we could get a magic mush out of it. You never know. We've already got mini mush as well, so... That was a very big uh, poison explosion there. I'm a little bit flabbergasted. Death? That was kind of rude. This isn't the room for death, I don't think. Not for me or the card. Okay, so leave the bomb there for now. We want to be leaving as much stuff on the floor as we can, really. I don't know if I actually finished that room that I just went through there. You know what? This is a good room for death. You are dead. What are you doing? Take a pick up the pennies. Yeah, pick up all the pennies. That's fine. Spicy key, I'll leave you there just in case. Just in case my feelings change. Take a pill, I can see forever. Not very useful for us, but <laughs> it is what it is. Uh, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Just because I should check. Ah, nothing. Thought maybe that looked secret roomy. But we've got I can see forever, so I'm dumb. I literally just got it as well. I'm so stupid. This, this run's a lot of fun right now. Some cool stuff going on. 
But right now we haven't had a token drop yet. And we haven't had anything that's specific specifically worthy of a token in my opinion. Um, another crane game. I should really check my shop first to make sure there isn't something better there. Nice. Okay, we actually have our first token. So, money-wise, we take all of this. Apart from the nickel, I'm going to leave the nickel for now. Open that up. That's an unidentified pill. Right, so. Oh, my God. <laughs> that was a little scary. Although there's a soul heart there as well. Okay, we've got some options here. We've got some options. And once we've completed the floor, I will explain those options. Good. No chest there. Secret room could be really good for some random drops. You never know what you're going to get. Oh, that was a good hit. Good hit for you. Very bad for me. Nothing great here. Do I want the rotten hearts? Yeah, I do, I do. That pill again. I'll take it because we've got two of them. It's a tears up. Do you know what? Okay, I already know what I'm doing. Okay, so go back. So, now, if we go over here, we do that, we pick up those, we come in here, we grab this, do this, and then do this, it's another tears up. So basically, the way that the token works, if you haven't understood already, is it will copy the last thing that you picked up on the floor. So, the last thing that I touched on the floor was a tears up pill, therefore the token became a tears up pill. It works on trinkets, um, and... Basically, ca like cards, pills, anything you pick up off the floor. So yeah, that was that was really good. I was planning on maybe doing it with the soul heart, but getting a tears up pill, far more beneficial for us. Holy shit, the damage we are outputting right now is ludicrous. Good bit of HP. Keep it going. Should have uh, left the trinket on the last floor in a, in a room, item room, shouldn't I? Ooh, this is this is a potential farming uh, farming floor. So we've got the curse that regenerates rocks. Really, really good for us because we can destroy rocks and, and revive them and keep going in a loop. I guess I'll take the High Priestess and try and get uh, Tinted Rocks. There is some prevention, I think, on spamming it to, to get Tinted Rocks. I, I feel like there is at least. Like, they don't appear that often, Tinted Rocks. But they can. And they have in the past, so. I know it's something we can abuse. But it's been less than cooperative right now. Alright, so don't pick up anything off the floor that's valuable. So there's our token. We're only on depths one, aren't we? Yeah. Doesn't work with items, by the way, if anyone was wondering. Slade did a really good video on the item. I recommend you go watch it to understand it a little more thoroughly. It's Bicycle Man. I hate him. Already got him off his bicicleta. It's this phase that I hate. You can just absolutely fill the room with fire. Thank you. Wow. Alrighty then. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, this run. This run is beautiful. Now, I'm a little actually... I'm, I'm maybe... Oh, you bastard. I'm maybe going to change my tune here. I think I might actually try and do Mega Satan because this run is so good. But first, I really just wanted a, um, a thingy, a go at the, the tainted character, but this run is, like, so, so good. But I feel we have to, we have to play this a little differently. So we haven't really found our knight in shining armor in terms of consumables yet. In terms of our pickups. Now... One of them, Black Hearts, is definitely up there. Also, the, the Burn Bag is up there too. Both of those are pretty good. 
We might even get another token this floor because it is one every 10 rooms, so we'll see. We might be able to do both. Okay. Yeah, the, both of those are really good contenders. Actually, the Tinted Rocks just aren't, aren't coming here. We did get a, a Fool's Gold drop there, though. Come on. It's a bit of a waste of time, I realise. And technically, I could do Bosch Rush, but I have already unlocked Bosch Rush. Like, the item, at least, for Judas. So, it's not necessary. I could be doing Hush though, I guess. Still, I'm... I like this idea. I just wish I could fire a few more Sulfuric Acid Tears. It'd make things a lot quicker. It doesn't seem to be wanting to, to, to work with me today, so I'm not going to force it. Just when this curse pre presents itself and you have a way to destroy rocks, it feels kind of sad to not try. We got Secretion here, which is not bad at all. I don't know if Secretion gets Herming as well. Okay, we did get another token. Plus 10 coins. Ka-ching. Um, hmm. <laughs> not quite sure if that's uh, the greatest deal I've ever seen. I feel like I have to buy it, though. Just, just because. <laughs> I guess I'll take Voodoo Head. Take that. And then these are free. Right, so we got another token there. That noise secretion makes is, uh, it's certainly something. The fact that it covers the entire room as well is pretty, pretty nice. Mini battery. Okay, so now we've got to head back. We've got to do a little bit of fucking around here, I realize. But we got to go all the way back here. Pick up our burn bag, see what we get. Unfortunately, nothing great. We come all the way back over here. And we'll grab our token to get another burn bag in the hopes that we get a burn heart. Sadly, no burn heart. So that was a bit of a whiff. Now we come back down here, we take our benign, benight, whatever it's called, heart, to give us a black heart and a slight damage up, and we do that again, making sure not to pick up anything else along the way, with our last token, to get another one of those. Beautiful. I think it works really well with, like, a lot of mods that add new stuff, because there's just so much stuff to pick from. Like, I, I bet there's some crazy scenarios you could get going on, like... I know that Yarrow Runes don't actually duplicate them, but Yarrow Runes themselves are just so good to be able to get multiple of. I'll go for these. Why not? Got a crawl space. Lovely. It's not a useful crawl space at all, really, but, um... Yeah, yeah it's, it's a bad crawl space. <laughs> it's a bad crawl space. Hmm. Mm. Why, why did I use a bomb for that? I know what you are, sir. Thank you. Got a small contraband. He did, if you're wondering how I knew, he wasn't animated. That's the tell. There isn't supposed to be a tell, but I have one. Good old bookworm. Oh shit, who are you? I see. A bunch of little wiggly fellas. Champion belt, hell yes. Yeah, sadly having two of those didn't actually affect anything. It being gold made no difference, really. 
That's how it goes sometimes. Wow. Okay, so we can leave the doubled soul heart there. Until we get our token. We're going to miss boss rush, but only by a hair. More spicy keys. Golden key. No, no, no. Where's my token at? It's got to be pretty close, right? Card keeping, ca keeping track of how many rooms you've been to. Should be this room, right? It's not this room. Holy hell. It's not this room either. Where are you? Large zit, I guess. See, I have a little idea, and I'm curious to see how it works. Come on. Nice. Okay, I've got a bit of an idea here. I may have already bungled it up, but I'm going to give it a go. Look upgrade's pretty good. Right, we need to go to the next floor. ASAP. I'm hoping that the token doesn't drop in the boss fight, but I'm almost certain it will. I'm hoping it doesn't. I've got a bit of an idea. Wait. I don't think it's going to work. I don't know. I'm going to try it anyways. This might not work the way I'm hoping it does. But I'm going to see. Why aren't you dying? What? Um. Mom's invincible? I'm going to have to do a quick kill here. Um. Debug 10. I legitimately have no idea what caused that there. Right. I'm going to try something here. It may not work the way I'm hoping it does. Basically, I'm not going to give him the contraband now. Because I'm going to try and duplicate it. But I have a feeling that if I leave this room, he will disappear. But he might not, and I'm going to gamble. In the name of science. But I haven't had a token in ages. There's one. Okay, so. Now we go like this. We drop our contraband. We... Excuse me. We pick it up. We token it. And then we have another one there. Excuse me. Get away. And we go back over here. It's probably going to disappear the moment I come back. We do that. We get the fraudulent fungus. And we come back and then it's going to disappear, isn't it? No, you fucker, you fucker, you... Ah, oh, you bastard. But did you see? I had the smarts. I had the smarts. I just forgot they fucking take it when it's on the floor. God damn it. I thought I could maybe... I should have placed it closer to the door and it probably would have been okay. Damn. That would have been really cool. Because it would have been a free item on the next floor. And then I'd, I'd have a way of generating an item every floor if I could get that to work. My token would be able to generate me one item per floor, essentially. It's not worked the way I thought. But we got something out of it, out of our other one, at least. And we learned a lesson. A valuable lesson in being sad. We are absolutely demolishing right now. We do need out the angel key piece, which I haven't got yet. I'm hoping I'll get this floor. Yes, I'll take that. 
We can at least do hush regardless. Even if I did go the colossally wrong way. Oh wait, no, I don't think I did. I don't think I did. I thought it was going to send me all the way back. Oh, there's that token. I don't think we have a use for the token on this floor. So I guess what we'll do is we'll do... We'll do this. Oh, it literally doubles the exact trinket. Okay, wasn't expecting that. I thought it would just give us a new trinket. That was not what I was uh, planning on. We did get our angel deal. Good, good, good. Unfortunately, it was the worst angel deal you can get. Bad, bad, bad. Where we go. Are we going to be blasting through these rooms here? Ow, that was a pretty bad hit, but let's not talk about it. Double Rotten Heart, that's cool. In fact, I think I'm going to take that. Because with our damage, the flies are pretty worthwhile. Don't want another Eternal Heart game. you just be trolling at this point. Oh my god. Such bad hits here. Soul of the Lost. Interesting. Not sure why that spawned. I'm guessing it's a specific drop from that chest type. Because obviously I definitely don't have that unlocked. Do you know what? Even though I can kill this room very quickly. It is not worth my time. Even if I did get hit. Sadly, big wrong way. Hopefully we get a bit of HP on the way, but remember, going to the next floor gives us HP anyways, so. We did get a token here, so hopefully a black heart out of this. Damn you, game. That would have been perfect. Tokens are one of those things where they, they just... They have that insane potential, but that doesn't mean they're guaranteed to be crazy good. Also, I'm very sad we've lost all our soul hearts now because now our rotten hearts are actually in the firing line. I, I really don't like that idea. Fairly easy rooms for us. Careful of this fella shooting all his weird little shots. Okay, boss time. <clears throat> I love it when you can kill mum that fast. No angel deal. I guess I will take this now. Hush time. A little bit scared of with all these rotten hearts, but let's just give it a go. Two decent items here. There's a burn heart. This is very good. Model Rocket is pretty decent too. And I'll take that. Wait, is there a red heart in there I can buy? Yeah. Fill up that burn heart, why not? Right. Let's go.
Model rockets were herming, it's just so fun. Right. Double wafer, I like that a lot. I don't know if having two of them does anything, but I guess we'll find out. I might go through uh, sometime soon um, and just make a list of all my, like, do you know that item stacking mod idea I had? Just actually come up with ideas for, like, all of the items that don't have stacking that I think should. Right, so... We can afford, I was about to say, we can afford to get hit twice. No, three times actually, but I'd rather not. Slightly slow fight here. Slightly slow fight. I'm trying to use the Creason for the creep damage. I don't really care about much else, but the creep damage is good. Just because it's so consistent and obviously guaranteed. Should, should kill him while he's underground. You've literally, like, fallen into the creep, my guy. Come on, Hoshi. Some of my tears are no longer model rockets. Not quite sure why that was. Oh my god, it's getting busy here. Holy shit, things are getting a little hectic. Okay, we're almost done. Of course he's doing his big beams of light, and I lost my wafers. No. Okay, we're good. Nice and easy. Betrayal! Oh my god, I can't believe I unlocked Betrayal. Holy hell, I feel so blessed. My god. God damn it. <laughs> Fucking Betrayal, are you kidding me? Is that a rainbow enemy? Yes it is. And he dropped a... A reasonably useful thing here. A puzzle piece. Puzzle. Your fears. Oh my god. Sometimes the acceleration on these rockets is like fucking crazy. I'm not quite sure what that's about. Sometimes they just jauntly pootle along. Not much is going on. Other times it's like absolutely mental. What? What exactly am I meant to be doing in this room? I, I, I'll i be honest, I really don't understand what enemy am I supposed to be able to kill? I can't figure it out, so I'm just gonna leave. There's one of those enemies is meant to be killable. Can't for the life of me figure out which one it's meant to be. Trap door. Bit random, but there you go. It happens from time to time. Eh. Not particularly good. Kind of an interesting idea for a room, to be honest. Not quite sure what the golden troll bomb's all about, but the uh, invincible guy. Pretty interesting. I probably should have got grabbed those keys, really. Easy. Right, let's grab those keys real quick. Just in case we get more chests. We only have three luck, but you never know. It's worth grabbing just in case. The guillotine? Goddamn, Judas's unlocks. They are stinkers. <laughs> I'm only going to take these two. The rest of those can kind of F off. Oh 
slightly annoying room. Not too bad. Blister is more knockback, right? Yeah, actually, I'm going to take that at this point. We do have ourselves. Oh, here we go. This is actually pretty good. We go grab that. Grab that. There you go. You see? Tall works out. That's the sort of situation where the tokens can be really, really good. Anything that can anything that can possibly generate items. I probably would have got another puzzle piece throughout this floor anyways, but it kind of speeds up the process for us. How can he take so long to die, my guy, my good guy? Such a dramatic death. Oh god, did not realize that laser damaged me. Item? Bit of a percent chance to spawn a nightmare. So I think that's super useful. Oh my god, so many water barrels. There's a luck penny over there. Thank you. Oh, luck penny plus token would be pretty good too, actually. Didn't even think about that. Now this guy, I just about to say it's worth playing, but he's another <gasps> another golden item, and it's a very, very good one. Wow. Cheeky bastard. I don't care. I'm just gonna reroll you. We're going for big money here. We're going for big money. Enemies have a luck-based chance to cause a dice effect upon death. Sounds pretty interesting, but I've got to go big. I got a one-up in the end. We got fun guy out of it. You know what I was going for, though, obviously. I had to do I had to do it. I had to try and go for the Arky. The only thing that would make a difference also a parasite, plus this is very wacky. We just upped the lag factor by about 10. The game wasn't already shitting itself, it really is now. How do you even survive that, my good guy? Also, why did we not get two 9-inch nails there, like, in our inventory? We, we, I think we got two lots because we got four damage. We didn't actually get two. I'm not quite sure why that is. Oh, it's flesh. It's a, it's a mushroom run at the minute. You're, you're still alive, you're just very small. Even babies conjoined? Ah, for some reason I was hurtful. Even though it wouldn't have actually made sense because I don't have a third baby of any kind. Just you and Mongo. I even think about the fact that Loki's horns is really adding to the craziness of all of this too. Ow. Good job, Loki's horns. I like it crazy. This seems like the boss path. This guy out here just like escaped it all there. No thanks. I don't think so. You can't escape death. It is looming around every corner. Like we basically need to fire like once for most enemies and we'll be fine. Okay. Interesting. Let the fight begin. A 
This is where him having multi phases just doesn't work. Because it makes him so much slower to kill. Much cooler fight, though, in general. Much cooler fight. We got another token there. Um, don't really think we have a, a good target for the token right now, I'll be honest. Where else are we going here? Up here, I see. I see it, I see it. Right, let's go. Stay still. Alright, Mega Satan twice in a row. This much damage, he's gonna get just demolished. Like, I don't even think I need to try for the most part. I did get hurt. Something did manage to grab me. Dude, what is going on? Does, does anyone know what this bug is? Every now and again, I seem to get this bug where certain bosses are just absolutely unkillable. Like, what the hell is it? It's happened before. But th this guy is, like, almost unkillable. Like, I am dealing damage to him, but it's dealing basically no damage at all. He's just got, like, insane boss armor. Like, you can see we're whittling his health down slowly. But if anyone could let me know if there's, like, an item effect that triggers this or a mod interaction, but it's really, really problematic because this guy's going to take me forever to kill. Like, sometimes the hits are, like, the tears are hitting and doing no damage, so I just don't really get it. Oh, I need to stop, that, like, doing this attack. I'm going to take forever to kill if he keeps doing this. Ooh, also, Secretion works with Loki's horns. Interesting to note. Pretty cool. What the hell did he hit me with then? He did a lot of damage to me, though. Whatever it was. Like, this guy's just not going to die, is he? But then if I do quick kill, it'll kill Mega Satan as well, so... Did that work? Okay, that did work. Good. Yeah, don't know what causes that, but it happened twice this run, and it's happened to me before, and it must be one of the items triggering it, I guess, but I just don't know what it could possibly be. If anyone has any idea, I'd greatly appreciate it to try and get it to the developer and fixed. It's so cool that Secretion can work with Loki's horns. And just like oh, your other items in general. I like that a lot. I appreciate developers putting in that extra effort. It makes runs way more special. Especially if like Secretion was one of your earlier items. And you can like base a run around it. I really think it makes the items so much more special and like memorable. And it forms those like... You ha do you know when you have that, you have that favourite item because you had that one cool run with it sort of thing. It creates those. And it's like, it, it, it is difficult because like, as a developer, you don't want to put a ton of time into making interactions that people might never see or rarely see. But, I don't know, I, I feel like the time is really, really worth the effort, I think. Which makes mods so much better. It's the same with like synergies and Gungeon. A lot of mods don't have a ton of synergies, and I think even though they're stuff that people might not see all the time, they feel so special that they're just kind of worth doing. Right, we have bested this guy very easily. That's been pretty spicy. Hope you guys did enjoy this one, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next one.